كتاب الله دستوري وخير الخلق أسوتنا how do we know a scholar from a person who's not a scholar? Because they're not the same, as Allah mentioned in the Quran. Are they equal, those who know and those who now know? They're not equal. Scholars are not like the ones who are not scholars. So many people are talking today who should not be talking at all. Ali ibn Abi Talib, he said, he said knowledge used to be a dot. Kan al ilm nukta, it used to just be a dot. But then people got into knowledge who don't belong in it, and it became a lot of kalam. And that's what we have today. So how do we know the scholar from the one who's not a scholar? The scholars of Al-Islam, they wrote who's a scholar. In those books about knowledge and how to get knowledge, they gave us some of the characteristics of the mujtahid, some of the characteristics of the ulama. And they are many, many. He has what is known as the alat of al-ijtihad. He has the tools and the utensils to make decisions, to extract rulings. He has tools and utensils. A person comes into this religion, he is uh, new to the religion, he comes to the religion. He doesn't know Arabic language. His knowledge of the Quran is a little bit. His knowledge of the Sunnah is a little bit. He doesn't have knowledge of fiqh. He doesn't have knowledge of the many aspects of Islam that make him a person capable of rendering judgments. The scholars in Islam, they said, Al-Hukmu ala shay'in far'an tasawwarihi to give a ruling about something, anything. You have to have some concept about that thing. If your concept of that thing is not good because you don't have the ability to look at it the correct way, there's gonna be problems. So who's the scholar? The scholar is the one who the other scholar said, that person is a scholar. El Imam Malik, the great scholar of Islam, he didn't start giving fatwas, he didn't start giving positions until so many scholars of Al Medina said, okay, go, you can give fatwas. He just didn't go out and he started giving fatwa. The scholars, they told him, okay, now you're ready, you're qualified. Now it's not like that. The kid is 16, 17, 18, 20, 25, 30, and he's giving fatwas, fatwas about blood, fatwa. So the scholar, the scholar is the one who, the scholar said this individual is a scholar. Based on what? Based on what? Based on his ability, what he has, the utensils that he has. He knows about the ulum of this religion. He knows about like the Quran has many sciences. He knows, he got a good idea of the Quran, even if he didn't memorize it. He understands the message of the Quran, halal, haram. He knows all of that information. He has a good knowledge of the Arabic language. He has a good knowledge of the fiqh and usul of fiqh. He has a good knowledge of the sciences of the religion. Not like what we have today. The person has something. What does he have? He memorized the first three hadith of the 40 hadith of Imam al nawawi and he memorized the last surahs of the Quran. And now here he comes giving fatwas. That's not enough, that's not enough.